we need to put a an integer type rule, right? Yeah. Okay, so then if, can you do this like this? Then we can double first. No, no. Why? Because the same <laughs> rule must be integer type, right? Okay, the rule must be integer type within, without condition, right? Okay. <coughs> now let us try to understand this thing. <coughs> so, now what happens? This. What is meant by this dot name? Now let us see. Let us define another object. Another object, for instance, student Mahdi or Muni. Another student, okay? okay. So then, instead Muni dot set name, okay? <coughs> okay, let us think that we have same name. But why do you should be different then, right? It may be Monim or something like this. And if you say Monim dot home, set role, if you're going to put type set or I'll set karma, okay? Set role that if you need to put in, see by seeing this line, you need to understand that when you call set method, set role method, you need to provide an integer type and role. Okay, within parentheses. Okay? And then this said that it has not written as a void. And we say student, that means this set role is defined within the student class. Okay? You understand from this slide? Okay. The set role, I have to say, <coughs> for instance, 102 or 120 are different, then, okay? So then what will happen? If we do this, if we do this, then what will happen? Like there is memory, this one is memory, okay? In memory, will, okay. So this memory will take to different places. So for Mahadis, for Mahadis, this will take this space, and for Muni, it will take this space, okay? And it will put Mahadis name 101 here, okay? And name is Mahadis here, and it will put name 120 here, and it will put Muni here, okay? So it will take two, so over, two objects, not over, will not will not overlap. We will take two distinct places, two mm -hmm. different objects, two different students, okay? But now let us consider we have two students that have same name. For instance, let us consider something. Let us consider this thing. For instance, this student has name Mustadek Mahdi and this student has same name. And these students have same same them. So now think what will happen. Are they is this is this is the same object? It's gonna let one one top up another. Sorry? It's gonna take a space the same as space in the memory. Design is a reference actually. It is used. <coughs> no. Still, it will, it will take different space in memory because two, two different two students, objects. right? Mahdi, when you need new, when you need new, two different. Mm -hmm. So, this student is Mahdi. This student is Mahdi. And this student is Munin. So as long as you use this test, two different names, okay? Mm -hmm. as, as long as we use new operator, it will create a different student, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the this is the beauty of new operator. New operator always created new object. So is it called overloading? No. No, no, no. no. Okay. So, okay, so that will happen. It will put 101 here, and it will put Mahadi, Mosad Mahadi here, and it will put 101 here. And it will get uh, more even money more in there. So that uh, so that's something like uh, land value. For instance, uh, you and me, we're going to the same shop for some shopping, okay? And you and me, I can buy same thing, same item. It's possible, right? Mm -hmm. You will put, you will keep your things in your bag. I will keep my things in my bag. 
But this this type says this object is an identical, mm-hmm. not same. You can mean identical and same, identical. Two interviews are identical, right? Mm-hmm. Two interviews are not same. Mm-hmm. Maybe similar. Mm-hmm. Identical means similar, but not same. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it is same, then one maybe. <coughs> And I'm going to tell you that when you use a new operator, mm-hmm. it will always take a different memory space. Mm-hmm. The main trick is that it's a new operator. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay? But let us think this way. Let us think this way. So if you do not say a, a, this operator, you may say, okay, you may say like this operator, like this way. You may say, Mohan, student Muni be called to Mahadi. So this, then this Muni is the reference of Mahadi. So in a minute ago, a few minutes ago, we discussed about reference, right? Yes. So this Muni is, 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 is the representative of <coughs> Mahadi. That means, by default, if you say Muni is then it's Mahadi is same. Okay? So then by default, you are neutralized this thing. This is the default. Then we have that does not change that sentence. That means moving to the legal right? That means this object, there are two objects, these two objects are same there. That may happen, right? These two objects and this object, right? So it's not the same Mahadi. And another okay, so so Tata says my boy's name is Mahadi, right? Muni, but mother is calling my same name by Muni. It may happen, right? The boy may have different name, right? So the grandparents may call by a different name, the parents may call by a different name, friends may call by a different name, the teachers may call them by a different name, right? But the uh, actual ultimate is the same, same student, same baby. So, okay, so what I'm going to tell you that, so, so that, so, so if you have this object, right? So this is the same so we can just go, we are getting a confusion over here. <coughs> we are getting confusion over here. Sorry, so this no, not here. Okay. So like if we say same thing, same value or different value, no matter, then there is a confusion over here that whether these two values will overlap each other or not. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that these operator is ensuring that these are, these are not overlapping. So these operator over here. You see this dot run? Yeah. And you see that this dot name? Yeah. That the term it has this dot name. So this dot run means when you said use this object, it will put this object role over here. Mm-hmm. It will assign this object role equal to role. And when you come to this object, then it means this object role equal to this. Uh, we, in Bangla, we say Jokhunz are talking to us. What do you understand by this? Jokhunz are talking to us. Bangla is Jokhunz are talking to us. Bangla is Jokhunz are talking to us. Bangla is Jokhunz are talking to us. Yes, something. Well, what else is if, if I am with Moshe, if I am with you, then whatever you are telling me, I am following you. Okay? And if I go to the, uh, okay, your enemy, and whatever he is telling me, but I'm, I'm talking yes, 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 যখন তুমি এটা এনসিওর করবে 
লেহুজ নেম যে দে অফ দ্য টেন নাম সে অফ দ্য টেন নামটা এখন বসে দিই সে দে অফ দ্য টেন সাথে বসবে সে অফ দ্য টেন নাম এখন বসবে দ্যাট মিন্স যে আমরা বলছি দ্যাট মিন্স হিয়ার উই আর টেলিং দ্যাট দ্য স্টুডেন্ট উইল হ্যাভ এ নেম রাইট সো দ্যাট ইন দ্য নেম হোয়াট নেম উইল অ্যাসাইন হিয়ার দিস নেম উইল বি অ্যাসাইন টু দ্য স্টুডেন্ট দেখুন দ্যাট ইজ সরকার দিস ইজ রাইট ইউ <laughs> must have the it will say munim name as must have the but in two different ways okay because when it is dealing with this when it is dealing with munim it will not understand mahdi okay it will it will take only for mahdi okay that means it will say so so to understand by this line and this line let us understand by this line and this line so we may put like this so we are putting here different light but we may write program like this way see here and we may write program like this way there is no water so now let us understand this this whole line okay. so that means mahadi dot set name equal to mosaddeq mahadi what do you understand by this so mahadi's name will be set as mosaddeq mahadi When you say Munim dot set name, then whose name will be set as Mahdi? Mahdi or Munim? Whose name? Munim. Yes, Munim's name. So whatever he is the object, you will, you will understand only this object. You will never understand this object. So when you come here and say so Munim dot set name, you will forget about other object. Okay? So the when you say Munim dot set room, one zero one, not even see. Yes, it will not understand. It will not understand Mahdi. Okay, and when you say Mahdi does set name, set role, one zero one, then you will set Mahdi's role as one zero one. Because you already looked at the alternative path, so that's why. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, so we understand this one, right? Okay. And then one thing, okay, that we use this operator here, but if you put different name over here if you do have a different name if you put name in this step okay so, so here it is confusing right we have same name here and same name here same variable right okay mm-hmm. we have same spelling name and name same spelling right we may have confusing right which one is here which one is here this one is here this one refer to this one or this one refer to this one or this one refer to this one or this one refer to this one is there is something anomaly like here mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so in order to remove that anomaly we can put this here uh, so we paste this file and paste that then or we can say name one is okay mm-hmm. then we have to put name on here put name on here right so then now now if you put name and name on here now we clearly understand it right this name is this one mm-hmm. and this variable is this variable right mm-hmm. so if you have a different name then we do not need this it's okay then it will work so because different variable this variable is different name this variable is different that is same name no we have a different variable that means the argument name is different than this is the field name okay. then you may do not need the this operator but if you have same name of your uh, your local argument variable and we the field variable the member variable then you must use that otherwise it will not work something will happen that something if you have same baby there is a two babies of same name okay in a, a same locality right in a same community if you have two babies with same name how do we distinguish them yes you say junior or is senior 
Or is it one or is it two, right? Yeah, it's a junior or senior, right? So we are still saying name junior, name one, or baby one or baby two. Maybe one, maybe two, right? Same thing we are doing, we are giving different name. But if we want to give same name, then we say this house Madi and that house Madi. Right? Either we said the Madi one, we can say Madi one, Madi two, or you can say this house Madi and that house Madi. Then you are okay, right? Mm -hmm. so, so then we are doing the same thing, this Mahadi. And this dot name. We are doing the same thing. This dot name. That means this object's name equal to name. Right? This object's name equal to name. So now understand this one. Try to understand. You will answer later. Okay, now what is this type void? Void is return type. Void is <coughs> return type. Every method has a return type. Okay, so every method, the method is a function, right? A function, what does a function do? It does something. Okay, so uh, what happens uh, when someone does something? Like you, if, if you assign some, you, if you ask someone to do something, what do you expect from him? Okay, then anything else? Yes, definitely you expect results, right? Yeah. Okay, then do you expect anything else? Confirmation, do you uh, 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 expect confirmation or notification that he will ex he will tell you that I'm done, I have done it? Do you expect that? Yeah. But you may not expect that. He said he is, said he is. But one thing that you will expect that he has to do that, right? An action, right? So I have a question about like line 16, public student. Why you? I will tell about that later. Okay. This is going to start. I'm so I. We discuss about this one, mm -hmm. but now we are discussing about void, return type. Mm -hmm. Okay, now <coughs> I want to explain about return type first. Okay, so what does this, this is return type void and this is return type string. And constructor has no return type. And this function has return type integer and this has return type void. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the book, if you say, <coughs> <laughs> my question is, yes. if somebody says void void, that time can you say void is a return type? <coughs> void means now, nothing. Or void means, if it, for an action, void means reject. In real life, not in Java. Yeah, same thing. In real life it is the same thing, but in, in real life what do you understand by void? void, the meaning void is we say null and void, that means it's valueless. Okay. The chapter nine, okay, with that article 9.5.3, return statement is very important thing. We need to understand this. Okay, we need to understand this return statement and return type and return statement. Unless you understand return type and return statement, I'm not going forward. This is my second thing for today. Return
Okay, so that means if it's a public string return, that means you ask the, the get method should return a name because the string type, something that is string type. So let us see what we have in this class as string name, right? Yes. Name is string type. So it is valid. It may be a return name. Okay, and then let us see this one. Get roll. It says when is a get roll. It returns integer, right? Yes. It returns an integer type roll. Okay. So maybe say, let us think. We have another thing. Let us think. Integer ID. We have also ID and integer string. Uh, we have more things. Uh, 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 we are giving more things, right? Things, right? Mm -hmm. So then, for this method, what what could be returned for this method string? It it, it needs to return a string, mm -hmm. the string type thing, something string type. Mm -hmm. What are the things type here? Name or school name, right? Mm -hmm. Either should be fine. If you return name or if you return school name, that is okay. Right? Because you are expecting to return something of string type, right? Mm. So what are the string type here? Name and school name. So uh, what is your needed according to your question? If you ask him to return school name, then you should use to return school name. If you uh, uh, expect him to return his name, okay, if you ask him what is your name, then you expect if he says his school name, will you be satisfied? No. Okay? So then he, by the method name, you are asking his get name. Right? You are asking his name. Right? So then he is returning his name. And if you ask his school name, then he should return his school name. But if you ask his name, if he is return his ID, will you be satisfied? He cannot. He cannot return ID. Because why? Can you please try to understand the error over here? Yes, I do think it is. It must return a string type, right? Okay. So, okay. And here, integer this is public get role. It, 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 is, it is expecting to return a role, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you return uh, instead of a role, if you return ID, will it be okay? Here, the, the, no, there is no logical error. No logical error, but because you are expecting to return an integer number, right? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't see that. It's okay. But your program will get an error. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But it, by default, it's okay. Yeah. Because, by because it is row ID is integer type, right? Yeah. Yeah. ID is integer type, so it is returning uh, integer value. I'm mm -hmm. fine, because mm -hmm. you are telling that return something integer. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the by, by default, by the program will get an error, but so this role. So this is why you need another method. So say, say it's a public integer, get ID, right? Get ID, you need another method, I get ID, subscribe another method. If it's another method, then you see ID here. So your return. Okay. So then now we understand this is the return type. If it is void, then there will be no return statement, right? So if it is not void, the there, there should be corresponding value return. Okay, without this return statement, your program will, will get an error. Okay, now we understand the something. Something here. If we now, if you read this part of chapter, book chapter, yes. <coughs>